Okay, in our final sections on um, derivatives, what we're going to take a look at are some natural logs, some exponentials based E, some general logs and some general exponentials, and then finally some of the inverse trig, and that will conclude our different techniques of finding derivatives. In this first part, we're going to take, examine the derivatives of the natural log function. If I have the derivative of the ln of x, so I don't have a function in terms of it right here by the x, the derivative of the ln of x is just simply 1 over x. If I generalize it, the derivative of the ln of u, where u is some function, it's 1 over that function times the derivative of that function. Pretty straightforward derivatives, really not too very hard. These are, these are pretty straightforward. You can combine them with the properties of logs. You can combine them with uh, the different properties that we've had or different things and different techniques of derivatives, which will make it a little bit more challenging, but for the most part, the concepts, the general concepts are pretty straightforward. So in this particular one, f prime of x, the u value is x squared minus 6, so it's 1 over x squared minus 6 times the derivative of x squared minus 6, which is 2x. Can't simplify that at all. You'd usually see the derivative as 2x over x squared minus 6. If by chance you have one that you can simplify that really does help to do that, I would rewrite y equals uh, the ln of, first of all, I'd write it as x plus 1 to the 1 half. Because I'm taking ln, I would bring that 1 half out front, so I'd continue to rewrite it as 1 half times the ln. one half times the ln of um, x plus one. And now I'd find the derivative of that. So dy dx is one half times one over x plus one times the derivative of x plus one, which is just one. So you'd probably see it written as one over two times x plus one or some version of that. You might see the two distribute it. In this one, I include the absolute value symbols. Technically, you should do that. Um, again, it's just the same idea. So the derivative f prime of x is 1 over 4 plus 5x minus, uh, minus 2x cubed times the derivative of all this stuff, which is 5 minus 6x squared. You'll see the answer as 5 minus 6x squared on top over 4 plus 5x minus 2x cubed. And that's it. That's it. These are pretty, some pretty short videos, some pretty short sections on general logs, general exponentials, um, and some inverse trig. Good luck.